This is a Northern Renaissance painting by the great German painter, Lucas Cranach the Elder. It's extremely exciting for us to come across a panel of such size, quality, and of such importance. The picture itself was painted in Wittenberg in Germany uh, between the years 1525 and 1530. The Mouth of Truth, or the Bocca della Verità, to give it its more familiar Italian term, would have been quite familiar to Cranach and his patrons at this time. In the Middle Ages, this tradition had grown up from an old Roman stone mask found today in the Basilica of Santa Maria de Cosmodin in Rome, that if any woman accused of adultery were to put her hand into the mask itself and told a lie, she would then lose her hand. Now the picture shows the woman herself who has been accused of adultery and is standing in judgment beside the judges and her husband clad all in black. And this is the moment at which she puts her hand into the mouth of the lion, the moment of truth. At this precise moment, she has arranged for a man dressed as a fool to grasp her from behind and around the waist. Now, this man is, in fact, her genuine lover. She is an adulterous woman. But by doing so, she is able to declare that no man has touched me except for my husband and, of course, this fool who has his arms around me at the moment. And by so doing, she escapes the trap that has been set. For Cranach, it was a major theme, a major part of his work, in which he explored the idea of viber list, which is to say the, the cunning or the duplicity of women. Um, and this formed part of a larger theme within his work of the viber macht, or the power of women. The subject is at one and the same time a serious, but inherently quite a comic one with a fair degree of sort of erotic undertone running beneath it. He manages to do this in a way that would have appealed to the courtly taste. It would have been a subject you'd have found probably in prints or drawings. And he's the first artist to take something with this sort of you know, stock of humor and a slight moral element and raise it up to panel painting.